Hey! Hi! It's Mrs. Rice! And Bulchy! Yeah, and, and we're here because we wanted to introduce all the Animals Homes Unit songs to you. That's right! I wanted to help Mrs. Rice teach you about Animal Homes. Um, so, Bulchy, question for you before we get on with the Animal Homes thing. Um, what do you do if your ecosystem, everything around you changes, like it gets a lot hotter or a lot colder or a lot drier or a lot wetter? What do you do? Well, we will either adapt, perish, or relocate. Oh, okay, um, <laughs> what does adapt mean? Change. What does perish mean? Die. And relocate? Move. Okay, and with that, I have a couple of little songs about what animals do. So, Volchi, you can watch over here while I sing. Adapt, perish, and relocate. That's how we adapt to an ecosystem change. When an ecosystem changes, it isn't the same. Organisms must do something to stay in the game. Adapt, perish, or relocate. That's how we adapt to an ecosystem change. Now, there are ways animals hunt for food, or the way animals get their food, and here is a little song about that. Predators hunt for prey, that's how they get their food each day. The prey will try to stay alive, and camouflage will help them hide. There's parasites, they're really gross, they get their food off of a host. Oh dear me, a parasite is a flea, it's little but it can bite even me! Ow! Now, I have another song about niches. And a niche is our job that we do in our environment. Oh, and I have Play Play Kitty. Oh, get, get, no, get away from the camera. I don't want you to knock it down. Hey, Play Play Kitty. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, um, what Kitty is saying to you is he has a niche at my house. And do you want to tell him what it is? Meow, 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 meow. Um, I don't know if they speak cat. He actually said that his job is to catch mice at my house, so I don't have to run scared. If a mouse runs out from under something, he's there to catch it. Um, and so every animal and people have a niche. My niche is to teach because that's my job. Your niche is to learn. And when you're at your house, you probably have a job to do there too. So um, I'm going to sing a little song about niches. A niche is what we do in our ecosystem, ooh. The cat catches the mouse in this master's house. A niche is what we do. The niche is a role in our ecosystem, oh. Worms turn dead plants into soil. A niche is our role. And a role and a job are the same thing. I'm not talking about a role that you eat. I mean, a role that's your job. Um, oh, one of my favorite songs is about animals surviving and how they've made changes to help them survive. Um, did you know that giraffes didn't always have long necks? But the ones that did many, 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 many years ago actually were the ones that survived and that's why they have long necks today. Here's the survival song. Giraffes. They will survive. They've got those long necks that help them reach the leaves in trees up high. Anteaters have long tongues and long nose to slurp ants out of deep holes. They will survive. They will survive. Hey, hey. And now, against my better judgment, I have a song about the snowshoe hare. And the snowshoe hare is actually a rabbit, because hare is a rabbit. And I have someone who was kind of grumpy that I woke him up. What do you want from me? Okay, Al Alfie, I wanted you to talk to the kids about your cousin, snowshoe hare. Okay, I I'm talking for 30 seconds. Just talk to him. First of all, you woke me up. And second of all, I gotta talk about my cousin, snowshoe hare. Well, let me tell you, he's a weirdo. In the winter, his fur is white, so he can hide, sneaky little guy. And in the summer, his fur is brown, so he can hide then, too. He's always hiding from me. He never lets me yell at him. I start yelling at him, and then he, like, disappears. It's annoying. Is that enough? Uh, I guess so. Um, Alfie, say goodbye. I'll, I'll let you take a nap again. Bye. 
Okay, I don't know if I'm going to let him introduce any more songs. But he's true. He's telling the truth about the snowshoe hare. And here's a little song about how the snowshoe hare changes his fur so he can hide. I'm looking over a winter snowshoe hare and his fur is white as snow. His protective coloring helps him to hide. White fur on white snow keeps him alive. When seasons start shifting, his fur is nifty because it will start changing too. In summer, the hare's fur is brown like the ground. Brown fur on brown ground keeps him around. There's no more explaining how that hair's remaining. He's protected by his coloring. I'm looking over my good pal Snowshoe Hair because he's adapted well. And adapted means changed. Now, speaking of changing, I have a song about ecosystems and your ecosystem is all living things and non-living things around you and when ecosystems change things happen really bad and right now I have Swimmy hello um, Swimmy could you kinda say what might happen if the local pond that you were swimming in dried out that would be awful I would not be able to survive Okay, I, honey, I didn't mean to upset you. Um, it's, that's not going to happen. If the pond dries out, I will bring it water so you will be able to survive. Uh, now I've upset the fish. Okay, well, he's right. He wouldn't be able to survive if the pond dried out. And I have a little song about when ecosystems change. The local pond is drying out. Oh, no. Oh, no. The fish will die when the pond's too low. Oh, no. Oh, no. The water bugs and water plants, they'll probably die, they'll have no chance. But the frogs, birds, and dragonflies, they will go to the next watering hole. Now how come frogs, birds, and dragonflies can leave? Well, they don't have to be in the water. A fish can't really leave the water. So they can relocate to a different place and they won't die. Now I have another friend. Planty McPlant. He just said hello in plant language. I don't know if you could hear it. Okay, he said hello again. Um, he helps us out because plants make something that we need. They make oxygen and we make something that they need. Carbon dioxide. And it's a whole cycle. They make oxygen. We breathe it in, we breathe out carbon dioxide, they breathe it in, and it goes in a whole circle. So I have a little song about the oxygen and carbon dioxide cycle. Carbon dioxide will change to oxygen inside a plant. Oxygen will do that too when a human breathes out CO2. That is called the gas exchange. We go through that every day. If plants did not make oxygen, we would run out and that's bad. Planty McPlant agrees. It would be very bad. It would be very bad to run out of oxygen. We need oxygen and plants make it. The energy pyramid. Something that I like to sing about. And it is how everything gets its energy. And it starts out big and goes up to the top of the pyramid where the big guys live. We're on the top with the big guys. Here we go. Oh, the pyramid, oh, the pyramid, pyramid of energy. Each part builds on the one before it. Each part's important, you will see. On the bottom of the pyramid are producers' little plants. Then a small animal will eat them and get some energy just like that. Then a bigger animal will eat the smaller organism. You may think his energy's gone, but it's transferred so it isn't. Then a great big carnivore will eat the last one in the chain. He's the tip top of the pyramid, so there's not so many of him. The top guys on the pyramid are the big guys you will see. They are sharks, lions, and tigers, 
and they're humans just like me. The animals and plants before me in the pyramid will give me some of their energy. And I use that stuff to live. And here's another rap about the energy pyramid. And it's an ocean wrap. And it starts out with phytoplankton, which are teeny, 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 tiny little plants that are eaten by um, little fish and shellfish like shrimp. So here we go. The phytoplankton get their energy from the sun. Then they are eaten by some small crustaceans. The herring eat them and the mackerel eat those and the sharks on top. And everyone knows he gets his energy from the fish and plants below. Chomp, 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 he can get it and go. That is called the energy pyramid. If a step is left out, then watch out, kid. We can break the cycle if we leave out someone's lunch. That could hurt the ecosystem a bunch. Each animal knows what it likes to eat fine, so we have to keep each guy's dinner in line. And then I ended my rap pose, but I'm just telling you, you cannot take something out. You cannot take food out of the energy pyramid. It will mess the rest of the pyramid up. You can't take someone's food out because then what are they going to eat and what's going to happen to them and who's going to what's going to happen to the animals that eat the animal that lost its food. See, it gets confusing, but you can't break up the energy pyramid because it could really screw up what animals like to eat. And now I am going to be singing a few other little songs here about ecosystems. Now, ecosystem is everything all the way down to a very very small place that's called a habitat and a habitat is like an anthill or like your house or maybe there's an animal that lives in your backyard your backyard can be a habitat but it goes from big to small and this talks about all the different things in the ecosystem all the way down to a habitat the ecosystems, all living things, and non-living things in one place. Community is only living things in an ecosystem space. The populations, a certain type of living things in a big space. A habitat is where animals live naturally in an ecosystem space. So ecosystem, living and non-living, down to community, which is only living things, down to population, which is like red ants as opposed to black ants, is to, then we go down to habitat, which is an animal's home, and it's very small. This is one of my favorite songs about producers, consumers, and decomposers. Producers like to make their food, make their food, make their food. Producers like to make their food, a producer is a plant. Consumers eat animals and plants, eats them up really fast. Consumers eat animals and plants, consumers are animals. Decomposers break stuff down on dead plants, they go to town. They break down dead animals too, that's what decomposers do. And decomposers are like earthworms that eat anything. And they're also like bacteria, some bacteria will get in and, and decompose things and break it down into soil. One of my last songs is Food Chains and Food Web. A chain is one small link in like a chain, like a chain that holds a swing up. But a web is many chains put together. So here's a song about food chains and food webs. In a food chain, organisms depend on one another for food. A food web will connect lots of food chains together real good. So those are some songs about the animals unit, and I hope that you enjoyed singing them with me. Um, I hope you learned them for the test, because it's a lot of answers for the test, and I... You have woken me up! Stop watching the video! I'm trying to sleep! Uh -huh. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and shut things down. Please learn these songs, they're very important to the test. Um, yeah, Alfie's sleeping. But why am I being quiet for Alfie? You guys sing him loud next time. He can, he can deal with it. Hey, good luck on the animals test.